Hey guys, it's a major follow here, and now we're up to the level of the Union. So, in a final attempt to unite the Norse clans, we go and do a series of quests for the Clan Charles. Now, we actually get introduced to the actual Norse hero, Regenleaf. And you'll see who Skult was in a moment. For those who are not in the know, of course. This mission's pretty simple to do as well. Just follow the obstructions that the Agiles give you. Remember, he didn't tell a lie. Treachery. You carry the banner of Falstag, a giant who raids the people in this region. That is why they attacked you. It's an old trick. It's one of the ways Loki gets the Norsemen to fight one another. Who are you? She is Regenleaf, a servant of Odin. She's trying to stop Ragnarok. It was she who sent us to track Gargarensis. That's right. And he is close. There are a few more clans in the next valley. If they still live, we might be able to convince them to join us. We do not have much time. Then we should go. You can leave the banner here. So for those who have played Age of Empires 3, you'll recognize two voices in there. Arkansas is George Washington. Amelia Black is Reganleaf. Arkansas' voice like has always done plenty of stuff too. Like the evil within, I think. Alright, send your heroes down, and get to go kill the trolls, and send the Valkyrie to help as well. Uh, your Huskulls, we're going to try to keep alive as long as possible. So after we clean up these trolls and we get control of the first Jarl clan, we get, well, we get temporary control, we don't get full control. Our thanks, strangers. Follow us. Our chieftain Blackhammer will want to meet you. Thank you for defending my men. We may use these buildings to ready your attack. Alright, so dwarf stays there. Villagers go back down and they'll just eat the goats. Get husbandry. More trolls will attack the tower. Go send your heroes down there. Remember your Valkyries can heal units, so don't neglect them. Just start training her seers because we're gonna need a lot of them. Most of this uh, scenario is all myth units, so as, as enemies, so best way to deal with them are the Herseers. Don't forget you can train some more villagers too, I would even highly recommend doing so. We cannot build houses, so we're limited to the population we get um, with the town centers we have, as well as whatever houses we can keep alive when we meet another clan. Something. Use whatever you can to get resources necessary. The trolls aren't attacking anymore. Now, try to keep your Valkyries alive. They're going to be very handy to um, heal our units. And trolls aren't really going to do anything to your heroes. Your heroes will be fine to kill them since they're only age 2 myth units. Now, as you hit the Underworld Passage, they will spawn more trolls, so sort of be aware of that. And once you kill this um, Underworld Passage, you will get the access to the rest of the... Um, uh, what should I call it? Uh, clan village. So we're gonna outrun the trolls so we get our health back. Reagan Leaf as a hero can also heal, and she heals faster than a normal Valkyrie. So, she's gonna be very handy for later scenarios. But we might lose this Valkyrie. Oh, she's alive. Lucky for us, she can move fast. Alright, now we clean up the rest of the trolls, and that's it. And the rest of the village is ours. Alright, so we're going to stop training her seers for now. Now, over here are some dwarves we can free to help us get some gold. Now, if you're a... Now, if you're a little slow on this scenario, you'll actually have a group of Anhainya attack you from this direction. So, be aware of that. I'm gonna get the plow upgrade. 
You can get a couple of fishing ships here. It's up to you if you think it's worth it or not. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. Considering you don't really have much use of wood except for um, the Hall of Thames. It's really up to you if you choose to go for it. You also don't have to go to the next stage. I mean, we can build a Dwarven Armory to get our upgrades. But yeah. Now all these guys are our units too. Now, if you really are afraid of an Anhania attack here, I'd leave about three to four Hersea here. Now, this is an annoying level because the walls are somewhat bugged. Specifically, another wall. If you click too far without being near a wall, you won't go through it. Specifically, this wall down here when you go to the next clan. So, if you're finding your units being stuck, move them close as you can to the wall's door and then move them through just over the other side. Alright, so we do need wood to build towers. I did forget about that, actually, since it's been a while since I've done this one. Um. It's sort of easy to get wood anyway, just get the hand axe upgrade. We're population capped as it is anyway, we can't build houses. So have our guys on food, just go straight onto wood instead. And all we really need to do in the meantime is we just need to defend or attack the giants as we wait. So we don't have any Huskulls left, but we did have the throwing axe, as you can see how they got stuck. So just slowly bring them through the gate and there you go. Now keep the... Um, throwing Axemen there, but we are going to take the Hosea with us when we attack the temple. And the reason we're going to do that is so we can stop the giant attacks, you know, just permanently. So, these towers aren't even going to do much against the giants anyway. So, of course, move the heroes down first. There will be some fire giants and ballista here, so you need to be very careful. We will be using the Riding Cavalry as well. Hopefully the Riding Cavalry, Riding Cavalry will be able to uh, deal with the Ballista. And just focus down the Giants. Or bring them to you first, so you're not fighting under their fortress. And, and then take on the Frost Giants first. They are, they are the weakest. Although you can have your heroes, uh, like your ranged heroes, take on the... Uh, fire giants. Our Cantus is already down, that's not a good sign. Don't worry if your myth units die from here. By the way. Eventually your forces will beat the giants, so it's, you know, not really a problem. And I'm pretty sure the fort doesn't have um, burning oil, so you should be alright there. Alright, so take care of the ballista. Alright, so now we go under. And then attack the hill fort first. Get Regan leave to heal the Valkyrie. Like, even when they're attacking, they actually get a decent heal rate from Valkyrie's heal because it's faster. I mean, there's no point heal, um, using Regan leaf and Chiron to attack the hill fort. They attack too slow. Alright, we're going to get the rest of these towers up. It's too bad we don't have access to a market immediately. We get access to it um, when we unlock uh, this, though. Have the Valkyries take on the Ballista. Uh, we lost our second one, which is unfortunate. But we can now just deal with the Temple. See what I mean? They get stuck. Just use that to build the last one there. And in the meantime, we can just continue getting our Hosea army back up to scratch. It's not very a long, like really a long level that we got to deal with. Let's 
so we don't have to deal with the giants anymore from this side. Frost giant up attack is so powerful. Alright, with the wood we've collected, we can actually get the Hall of Thanes upgrade now too. Which will be good for these, because we're going to do a... For the last um, clan, we don't have to really do what he says, we just have to free his daughter. So we don't even have to bring her back, we just have to free her and then we get a uh, victory. Alright, so got whatever units he had left, which I used to, you know, my own devices, I guess you could say. Now, we don't actually get... We get access to a Dwarven Forge. That contains absolutely nothing. So we have to build our own. But, now with the market, we can buy the resources we need. Since we have plenty of gold, we can just buy the food that's required. So. Now, again, you need to be close to the gate so they actually go through it. Because, again, they just get stuck like that. That's an exa uh, easy example of what happens with the wall. You have to slowly guide them through. It's ridiculous. Alright, so now we're going to get some upgrades. We're definitely going to want at least one level of copper shields. Now, when we attack the last base, um, there'll be a walking trees ability used, and there will be um, what should I call it? Uh, a lot of giants and towers and that. Now, it actually probably is recommended you go age 3 and go either... Either one of these choices is good. Flaming weapons will let you get through the area easier. Frost will let you just freeze the enemy so you can just ignore them and push to the end. I, uh, Both of them are good choices. I usually prefer to go Frost. But again, that's your choice is up to you. Now, if you plant your um, healing spring here and an ally takes control of it, it still heals all your units. So don't be afraid if it's under... A different color. As long as it's an ally, you'll heal. Uh, build some barracks here so they don't have to deal with the gate issue. And don't forget, keep purchasing these upgrades. Uh, now that we're also heading to the third age, you can get the fortified Townsend upgrade for um, extra pop, but I don't think we're going to need that much. Such with the amount of heroes we got and Hall of Thanes, we should be okay for the foreseeable like last section, so like the last few minutes we got left. The dwarves mining the gold in the caverns. It's great. So again, oh, don't forget to make sure all your heroes are under one binding. Like, if they keep dying. And push forward. Now we're going to get the bronze shield. Now here comes walking trees. This is where we can frost. Yep, there's the walking trees. They also get affected by frost, so you just ignore them, destroy the wall. Ah, they upgraded the walls, dang it. It's unfortunate when they upgrade the walls, and this is where the flaming one comes in handy. But, of course, and you have to bait out the giants and attack them. Well, the Cantos could get a war shout out. Alright, just go forward. Now, oh, Frost ran out, which is not great. But we should have enough to hold us through. Break open the gate, it's the weakest part. Have Chiron and Reagan Leaf take on the Giants because their ranged attacks not going to do anything to the walls. Bring the rest of your units forward. And once we get to tower range, I mean the tower is easily destroyed. Now you can have whatever like excess units like here, they're just fighting off the other units too. Or you can use them to attack the pillars, so destroy the wall faster. Right, get in there guys. And that is it. We didn't get attacked by the Inhanya. And that's it. Nice and quick and easy mission. Although I did get dicey with the second clan leader because I didn't have enough house ears. But nothing could be done there except wait. And I didn't want to wait. So, uh, Gold Edition is pretty much the same strat. 
And um, although we might wait for a little bit of extra Hoseas there. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys for the Gold Edition. And then the next scenario will be the Well of Erd, which is what the level I did a lot of my testing on before I wanted to upload to YouTube. So I had, I must have like 30 bloody files of the Well of Erd on like combined videos and images comparing my com like compressing like my rendering shit. So yeah, I got to clean up that space. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Drop the follow or subscription. It went up on Twitch after all. Drop a subscription. Uh, come to my Twitch. Follow me there. I do play live. Uh, many games. Games you could be interested in. Games you might not be. Doesn't hurt to drop me a follow, though. I'll catch you guys another time.